Hi, I'm Chrislyn Matei, and I'm a Creative Memories Advisor, as well as a content contributor for the Creative Memories Home Office. Today, I'm sharing with you a bright and happy layout that features the new This Life collection. And if you stick around till the end, I'll show you a bonus border that you can make with some of the pieces left over. To make this layout, we will need This Life designer paper, tone-on-tone -tone paper, embellishments and stickers, white and black cardstock, the circle punch, the custom cutting system with circle patterns, the original border maker system with the banner cartridge as well as the shutter love cartridge, the 12 inch trimmer, microchip scissors, tape runner, and a pen. So to get started, we are going to start with a piece of white cardstock as the base. I'm just going to apply a little bit of repositionable tape runner to my 13 inch cutting mat just to kind of keep this in place for us. And we want to cut a three inch by 12 inch strip with blue tone on tone paper. And that's going to go over here. And then we're going to take this green leafy piece and we're going to cut this nine inches wide by eight and three quarter inches long. So nine inches wide by eight and three quarters. And so that piece is going to go right here. And we can go ahead and tape these down. And you just want this to be even on top and bottom so you get it's kind of nice to be able to use the marks on the edge of the 13 inch cutting mat to make sure that we're kind of even. And then next we just want to make a little stripe, 3 8 inch stripe for the top and the bottom. And the 3 inch, 3 8 inch is the first little tick mark over here on this side. You could also use a border sticker for this. This Life Collection doesn't have border stickers, so this stripe is perfect. And so we're just going to tape these down as well. And they're just going to go right at the bottom of this green piece and then all the way to the end. Okay, so now we're ready for the fun part. This is what's gonna make it really kind of come to life. So I am going to just flip this over to my other mat on the back side because we're gonna cut a bunch of circles. So we wanna take all the rainbow colors and this particular paper pack, the tone on tone paper, has beautiful solids of all these gorgeous rainbow colors and I have lots of scraps. And so we're just gonna take each one of these and we are gonna cut 
one circle. And we're gonna use the red blade, or I'm sorry, the green blade. And here's where I need to make a little correction. If you happen to have the newest quarterly sketch booklet from Creative Memories, you will find that this layout is featured as example sketch number one. We are gonna be making this layout, okay? There is one error in the instructions. It says at the bottom that you're going to use the inside of the small circle pattern and the red blade when in fact it needs to be the green blade. So if you do have this particular sketch booklet, you'll want to make that change. So we are going to use the green blade and we are going to cut circles with one circle each with all of these different papers. And you want to leave a little bit of space on the edge. And I would suggest go maybe right around this second ring have that even with the edge of a page or just, but leave a little like a good quarter inch around all sides. And I'll show you why in just a second. So we're cutting our circle out and you can save these circles. Uh, we'll do a little something fun at the end with, with those leftover pieces because we aren't using those in the layout. So you're gonna take and flip your circle punch upside down and just Place it over your punched or your cutout circle so you have a ring. And as soon as it looks even to you, you can go ahead and punch that out. So we're going to do that with all six of our papers. Again, making sure you're leaving a little space around all sides. you get a need to make sure you have an edge that you can get that punch around so I'm just going to take that little piece off Okay, so we're all done with that. Again, we can set aside these circles. We are not gonna be using them for this, but I will show you a fun border we can make at the end with these. And then we're gonna take the rest of these and we are going to cut them in half. So I'm just lining them up. I'm kind of, I've got some stripes, I've got some circles, and maybe I'm gonna line these stripes up so they're cut at the same angle. Doesn't really matter, but it does to me. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to place these in here. Um, and you can just kind of eyeball where they're in between the two one inch sides here. And this, you just want them to be even on both sides and you'll cut them in half. And then we'll do the same with the remaining pieces. Okay, 
So now we have all of our little rainbow pieces and I'm gonna flip this back over here to my layout. And we are gonna line these up and I like to do a Roy G. Biv so that they're kind of forming, looking like a rainbow. And I'm just gonna apply adhesive to each one and we're gonna place them on the top and the bottom. So I'm starting with the, the red and it's going right next to the blue piece here. And then I'll stick the, the orange one next to it and overlap it. So you wanna just overlap that base part of it. And again, just have it even with the stripe piece. And you're gonna do this with all of your pieces, top and bottom. Should fit just perfectly along the edge and then we're going to do the very same thing on the bottom. Okay, now that sure livened the page up, didn't it? I love that look. It's so fun. It's rainbows and it's scallops and it's just a fun, bright, active layout. So lots of fun pictures from birthday parties to theme parks to anything really fun outside, playing at the park or on the beach. I think you could do all kinds of fun things with this. So next we want to make our photo mats for this layout. So we're gonna have one that is six, let's see, six and a half by four and five eighths. Six and a half by four and five eighths. And that's gonna be our large eye-catching piece right here and I'm going to double map this so I want to I want to bring in some more white and so this piece is going to be six by four and a quarter at the four and a quarter and then I'll go to six so that's going to go right here and then your photo would be inside of that and the photo dimensions would be five and three quarters by four. And I'm just placing it so it's about a quarter of an inch from those two edges. And then we wanna have some small photos along the bottom. And so they're gonna be three, three inch photos. So we're gonna do three, three and a quarter inch squares. Okay. 
Okay, and then they can just go at kind of an angle. So we're just keeping some movement going and they're just, I think um, photos that are at an angle just look fun and playful. And that is what we're going for. Okay, so we've got those are photos. We've got four photos on the layout. And now we can do some embellishments. So what, what came out with this collection at the same time of, as this collection is the Write On stickers. And I know um, currently they are on back order, but they are wonderful. So you've got two different sizes in one pack, one sheet, has six by one quarter inch and one has six by three eighths inch. And we're gonna use them both actually on this layout. So what's fun is that you can take these and you can just cut them to whatever size you'd like. And I'm gonna cut them to three inches because I want them to kind of fit right alongside here. So I'm gonna take, I think I have one already and I'm gonna take two more and I'm gonna cut them. But first, it's, it's kind of easier maybe if you if you turn them upside down so the st sticky side is up when you put them on here and then you're not getting them stuck to your trimmer as much. <laughs> okay, so now we have, we have five stickers. And at this point, we can start laying them on our layout. The one thing I want to add before I do that is I want to make sure I have the embellishment set where I want. And so I did take out a few embellishments from the embellishment pack, and they're all these adorable little titles. And I'm just going to see where I want them. I think I want this one down here. And then I wasn't just I wasn't sure which title I wanted over here. I think I want a different color. So I'm going to go with this good good times. And if that's going to go right about there, then I can start laying out my stickers next to it. And so again, using my marks on the side will just kind of help me lay these where I want them. And I'm kind of making them a little bit off center. I don't want them exactly straight because I, I do want this to be fun and playful. And so having them a little off center is, to me, adds just a little bit of whimsy to it. Okay. Lost the sticky there. And so this one we'll put straight at the bottom. Okay, so now we've got a nice spot to journal. And part of the sticker, these embellishments, you get these little epoxy stickers. And so it's kind of fun. You can make little bullet points. So I'm gonna put these little stickers on as bullets. And then I can write a list or whatever I want here. Maybe it was the top things we did that day. I just think they add, they add some fun. Okay, so the list can go here and I'm gonna add my title. Right here. And now I can pull in my stickers and I can find some fun ways to add my stickers. Put another one here. So let's see, what's kind of fun about these stickers is they're designed to kind of cluster together. So you could, could reasonably just take a, a, a little cluster of stickers and have them go together. And they pair up really nicely with the titles. 
So let me just see what I feel like doing here. I think I'm just going to add a flower. And I'll use my foam squares to pop it up a little bit. Okay, so we have that one up there, and now we can add some more flowers down at the bottom. Maybe I'll do this one. How fun. I love how, how easily these, these stickers can kind of play together. So now we've got kind of our visual triangle going on, but we still have a little spot over here. So I want to do a little something here. And what I like for that <clears throat> is I want to use the banner cartridge with the border maker system. So this, this is just a really fun punch. I think it's kind of a must have. And you can take your scraps and you can just punch out little pieces. To make uh, some cute little titles that you can put on the page. So, you know, you don't even need to put this in the in the border maker guide. You can just use it and and punch out individual little banner shapes. I'm going to do a yellow one and I'm going to do, I'll do a blue one. Okay, and so now we can just tape all of these on. And I'm just going to tuck them behind the photo mat. Keeping that little angle going that we had. And now I can take the write-on stickers that are the, the quarter inch, the really narrow inch. Uh, to, and I can actually just cut little pieces off. So I'm going to just cut a few. Grab my scissors. And I'm going to kind of just place them behind so that I can do a little bit of journaling on these. So maybe I want to list list the names of people that are in the photo. Maybe I want to just do other little, the date and location where these photos were taken. I mean, anything, anything I'd like here. There we go. And then we'll add just a couple more stickers to this one, just to kind of pop it up and maybe we'll pick some more flowers. Got some cute little hearts too. How about, how about a heart? Okay. So this is our fun layout using the This Life Collection. 
and the write on stickers to make a really fun, bright, happy layout. Um, again, I'll show you the, the original here in the sketch booklet from the first quarter of 2024. And this sketch booklet shows kind of ways that you can make this layout as a beginner sketch, adding a few more details, more intermediate, and then the advanced sketch here. So it's kind of fun how they lay it out and they put all the measurements in here. Um, but again, make note, this is the green blade on the inside instead of the red blade of the small circle pattern to make these, okay? So I wanted to show you something fun that you could do with these leftover little pieces, right? We've got all these leftover ones and I don't want them to go to waste. And so I decided to make a little border with these. So let's just kind of stick them over here. Again, I'm going to put them in that Roy G. Biv order because that's what I like to do. And here's where we're going to bring in the Shutter Love punt, uh, border maker cartridge. And let's first punch out a border with the black cardstock. I'm just going to place this in the paper holder, move the tray back, and now I will punch, making sure that each time I place this inside, the notch, the notches line up and it sort of locks in place. And then I move on to the next one and go all the way down the strip. Isn't that adorable? This is a must-have punch too. And look at you, even get the little leftover hearts that you can use and you get little smiley faces. You could do all kinds of fun things with the leftovers here. So we have this piece. Now let's, let's start from the bottom and build up. So I'm actually gonna use this sun's paper and I'm gonna use this as my base and I'm gonna cut a three inch by 12 inch strip. So this is my base. <clears throat> I'm gonna flip it over and I've got the striped side. And the striped side is going to be two and a quarter inches. By 12 inches. So it's gonna go like this. Okay, next we want to take our blue paper and I've got the blue stars here and you could use any of the blues, but this will just be one and a half inches. And that will go on top there. And finally, we're going to take a piece of white cardstock and we're going to cut this to one and a quarter. So now we have all of our layers, let's start building the border. Okay, looking good already. And now we're gonna we're gonna actually put adhesive on this piece. And then we're gonna tuck our little circles underneath. So let's just start by getting some adhesive on this. It'll make it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to very lightly place it. On the on the white piece. And then I'm going to start with the red. Put a little tape on it and slide it behind 
the first heart. Just kind of center it. And now we're gonna do the orange and we're just gonna work our way down using all of our circles. And when you get to the end here, you can just take it, place it in your trimmer and just sort of cut off that little extra. <clears throat> Isn't that cute already? So now we can just add a couple little embellishments. <clears throat> I picked these out thinking they'd be kind of fun here. Where do I want this? Maybe I'll keep it over here. my little camera and then this can go right underneath. I do like to use foam squares for these titles just to pop them up a little bit more. When I get to when I run out of things I just cut the others in half and I am good to go. So we'll put our little picture perfect title right here. Just want to add a little, little, a little camera flash or something. Let's see how that looks. Just put that right there. Let's add a little spark. Okay, so there is our border and super easy and to make and really colorful and it'll work great on any kind of layout. Let me show you another variation on this. So I created this layout again using the Adventure Parks collection. So you can see how versatile a layout it is. This definitely has a fun flair to it and by using it with Adventure Parks and a black cardstock base. You can really see how you would pump up the fun level on a layout of an amusement park. I also thought it would make a great two page layout. So I did the same thing here. I just did a mirror image of the layout, but instead of putting the three photos across the bottom, I put two horizontal and then I turned this one sideways. And I think it just works. You get a lot of room for photos. You could, this could be a photo or you could use a, a journal mat. And I use that instead of the write on stickers on this one. So super fun. And then I also made a border with the leftovers. So you can see again, a really versatile, easy way to create a fun border that matches a fun layout and you could really have a good time with this. So I hope you enjoyed this layout and I hope you make it yourself. Please feel free to give me comments about what how you might use this layout and tweak it to make it your own. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.